Καλησπέρα σας. Good evening. Uh, I will speak in English with your indulgence because I'd like to pass on some messages to uh, our brothers and sisters of the diaspora, our fellow citizens across the world and the Philhellenes, our extraordinary champions here and worldwide. Uh, and and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to hold on to these because uh, contrary to popular belief, actors are very limited people. <laughs> and we're dead without a script. And it takes us months to learn it. And since I wrote, finished writing this last night, you can imagine. <laughs> so uh, this good fellow here and I go back a long way. <laughs> uh, over 10 years. Uh, 15 countries, 300 shows and counting, uh, 15 languages, uh, uh, 50,000 young people from 8 years old to 98. Um, we go around and ask questions. And uh, uh, simple questions, really. Uh, Theoni Aldridge made this for us, if you remember her, she left us last year. Theoni Vakliotti Aldridge, Thessalonica, uh, like our director, Lucas Skipitaris. Theoni, she just put some plaster on my face and did her thing, and out came this fellow, and so he and I became one, or so I would like to think. Uh, and. Uh, we, uh, I bring him on, uh, on stage, I speak a little ancient Greek, and then I place him at this place of reference and reverence, and then I, uh, there's little old me trying to channel him as best I can. Um, his humor, his uh, wisdom, his energy, his love of life, his peace with death, uh, his childlike curiosity, his arrogance, aggressiveness, in your face, <laughs> uh, his obnoxiousness. A good friend came and saw one of the performances in Athens recently, and she called me and she said, thank you, thank you, everything was wonderful about the performance, but one thing, you captured the kolopedos to Socrates, <laughs> the badass which he is, the badass of Athens. So we, we, um, we bring him on flesh and blood, a demythified Socrates. Uh, people ask me why I do Socrates. I say because I'm a child, and he is a child. We both consciously kept our innocence uh, so that we can stay curious. Uh, you know, why? Why? Because. Uh, why not? Could it be the opposite? Why? Who says it's impossible? Drives my, my, my kid, my, my son, crazy. Uh, we've been to uh, oh, Oxford, Cambridge, uh, Columbia, Yale, uh, the United Nations. Uh, um, Elsa Stamatopoulou amongst us is responsible for that questionable invitation. Uh, and uh, schools, international schools, private schools, ghetto schools, uh, theaters, festivals, Montevideo, Mexico City, Montreal, New York, uh, London, Strasbourg, uh, Ukraine, Kiev, uh, Nicosia, Athens. Yes, at some point, the homeland beckoned. Uh, I had never worked here before. Uh, don't go there, they said, the, the, the clicks are going to eat you alive. And uh, you know what? I'm still here in one piece, thank you very much. Uh, and I'd like to, if I may say to my brothers and sisters of the diaspora, uh, you know, get off your high horse and get on your proverbial butt over here. I patrida mas chriazete tora. Greece needs us now and always, and not just for the holidays. Uh, 
Uh, we do, uh, we work on, on, on him, uh, this good fellow Socrates, on uh, Kabafi, Macrianis, uh, Homer, Lysistrata, Aretusa, Mandoma, Vrogenus, the wonderful, extraordinary women of the revolution, uh, and beyond. Uh, great stories, wonderful characters, with ethical dimensions. It interests us. I needed now and, and, and always, and we do our work in a lively manner, in an accessible manner, so that we don't bore, we engage, uh, so that then when we discuss afterwards, and we discuss always afterwards, there is no performance of ours that there is no discussion afterwards, for as long as it takes, for as long as the circumstances allow. And so, what, what did we get out of this? Who is this person? What did he say or she say at her particular time? Is it relevant today? Why is it relevant today? How can we apply it? What interests us, uh, you see, is action. Not just thinking, not leaving a performance, uh, you know, as, as, as uh, my good colleague Stefania says, edutainment. Wonderful. Entertainment and, enter and education, but not to leave uh, happy that we just we were educated, we thought, and we are going to be happy tomorrow that we were present in such a marvelous challenge. But what do we do now? How does this translate into action? Uh, we just try to take our cue from him. Uh, militant art, perhaps, but uh, we have fun too in the meantime. Uh, you see, we feel that he didn't teach us just how to think. He taught us how to live. He tried to. Uh, point of example, uh, University of Sharjah, United Emirates, 850 Muslim students. Uh, got everything that I did in the performance. They were just right there. Perfect English, of course, the creme de la creme of, of the Middle East. Uh, Beautiful women, all in black. All I could see was their eyes. Uh, uh, <laughs> but they were beautiful eyes. And men with a white, you know, the master of the race. Uh, <laughs> extraordinary young men and women. And uh, when it's over, uh, one of these beautiful women got up and she was trembling. And she said, Professor Simonides, uh, you just said things that I thought existed only in my holy book. And you said that they pre-existed by 1,500 years from a pagan culture, nonetheless. Would you be ever so kind to help me marry the two in my heart? You thankfully you have an education so you can answer such a challenge. Uh, Grava, you know, probably you've heard of Grava, it's a neighborhood in Athens. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of poor people, a lot of disenfranchised, a lot of immigrants, a lot of uh, uh, the underserved. Uh, drugs, the usual problems, knives, guns. And they invited me, the, the Nomarchia Athenon, let's do an experiment. Would this work with them? Could you engage, could Socrates engage these kids? who had perhaps never seen theater or see very little. They, their parents don't have the money to even conceive of something like this, and the schools don't have the money. Uh, and so I got there in front of them, 400 kids, and they, nobody, they, they, they didn't care I was there. Ha -ha. Doors were open, cell phones were going, the toilet. Ha -ha! Five minutes, I stopped. I said, this is not going anywhere. So first time in my life and last, I stopped the performance and I walked right down in their midst, and they, whoa, what happened? And I said, listen, <laughs> I know where you're coming from. Oh, I have a kid, your age. And now, who, what the hell, he feels the same way, he doesn't, uh, now that he's seen the work, but in the beginning he did, yeah, what is this now, Socrates, what, what? and you feel the same way, what do I have to do with this uh, old man that they're bringing from, from antiquity, this 
to teach me what, to engage me how. And I said, I understand, I get it, uh, but I'll tell you, I'll, I will do something. Uh, I'm going to open the doors and, uh, um, you know, they were opened anyway, and, and um, you can, you can oh, anybody that wants to leave can leave. Uh, I don't mind because I know, and then we will continue, I said, with, with whoever stays. I know you, I, I won't mind that you will leave because I know you'll hear that it was fun, and then next year when I come back, you'll come back. So we have nothing to lose. Uh, those of you that may choose to stay, I'd like to ask you to just give me a, a, a little bit of your, of your life, a little bit of your time. I promise you, it will be about a man that walked around the streets of Athens a couple of thousand years ago. He was barefoot. He used to wear the same ragged piece of cloth. He smelled because he didn't really like to wash, so he didn't have time. And he was ugly. Woo! And, uh, but he walked around and he cared about his fellow men and he tried to talk with everybody, uh, the simple and the, and, the, and the educated and the, uh, uh, the poor and the, and the wealthy and the leaders and the slaves, uh, uh, caring. And, and, and he made friends with them and when they talked, they made jokes and he was of use and he, 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 they loved him. Uh, and he was funny, he was funny. And I say that and we do work on him in the, in the apology with humor as a given because, first of all, I've never met a wise man that was not funny. Uh, but also because we feel that uh, humor is, is, is in him and is in Plato and it's important and it's there for a reason. So I said, uh, 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 you'll have fun. So those of you that want to leave, please leave, those of you who stay, uh, and we open the doors and... Uh, what looked like everybody <laughs> left. And uh, then five minutes later, I, I started again and I walked on stage and only 30 or 40 kids had gone. And it was quiet. It was like a church. Doors closed. And they got it. They were with me with the humor and the, and the profundity. These kids. And afterwards, they mobbed me. Who are you? What is this? Who is this fellow? Can I read about him? The teachers who didn't help, because I, th I heard afterwards they were afraid <laughs> in the beginning, uh, were grateful and we talked about how we can use this kind of, uh, uh, in, you know, accessible approach, this kind of humble approach, this fun for kids that we don't have to talk at them or down to them, but at their best level. Uh, so around the world, the response has been enormous. We're, we're, we're uh, grateful for it. Uh, amazing, all these different places. Um, and and uh, um, not only in the West, but in the East, where they don't know him. And they respond because he has, gives, asks basic, simple, essential questions. And, uh, and we, we give our work uh, with humility, with uh, respect for the other cultures. And I'll give you an example what that means. We have invented, thanks to my young boy, a very uh, unique uh, uh, approach with PowerPoint, with super titles, that is huge. It's part of the set, but it is huge. The word is, is as much a protagonist as the actor. And we use that now in, in all our productions. Uh, and so in the language, so there is this, this projection of two or three lines on which translation, this translation we've worked on for months with the translators, so that we, we ask them, what is the right nuance? What is the right word? Why do that? And, and we, even without knowing the language. So we arrive at a language, at a translation, that it is absolutely coordinated with every single moment of the performance. So after 10 minutes, they forget they're listening to a different language, mostly Greek or English, <laughs> that I give the performance in, uh, or, or, or our other performances. Uh, and uh, you see, we, we, we give offer Hellenism as a tool, as a, uh, somebody said, not a, not, not a mattress to, to, to sleep on, but as a point of contact. Uh, 
And so we, uh, we execute, we, we exercise cultural diplomacy as best we can. And it's essential, it's needed. Uh, this response gives me the right, uh, if I may, to stand here in front of you, uh, uh, limited as I am, uh, to, to ask with you some questions. Uh, so after all this traveling around and the crisis occurred, and we decided we're going to forego invitations to China and Russia and all the places, and we're going to stay here. That was in the spring. Uh, uh, and that's how Socrates now is needed. The ethical dimensions, the questions, are needed. Uh, so we, um, we uh, started with a double experiment. Uh, 14 performances in English under the Acropolis, the Palio Panepistimio, in the old University of Athens, uh, in English, uh, so that we would offer something to our foreign visitors. 14 nights straight. And not only a cultural invitation, but also a political challenge. Because we said, after the performance is going to be a discussion, a very specific discussion, very specific questions in terms of what do we do as citizens of Athens, of the world, because it is a crisis of the world. It's not just a crisis here. It's a crisis of character all over. Uh, and, and, and that's how we uh, let people know uh, that it was going to be. And uh, 2,000 people came from 38 countries. Full house, sold out. And a shared global experience on issues especially ethical issues that concerned us all. And it was questions. And I asked questions. I didn't say anything. I usually fly off the mouth questions. And they would, what, what do we do tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, after you've seen this performance, not go home, I'm so uh, privileged, and wasn't that wonderful, and Socrates, wow, is so profound. But what? Are we going to do? What are you going to do? What I'm going to do tomorrow morning? The little step, the tiny, tiny, tiny step that is, is, it needs to be done, and then the next day I'll do another one, and a tiny one, and another one, but I have to do something alone with a fellow man or with a group or an institution, but we will do something because as many of good people said today, and especially the good last gentleman right now, we are on the precipice. Uh, and and, and they, 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 they tried to respond with, uh, you know, we will try to think this way, we will try to, no. And I kept stopping, with all due respect, no. What? Be specific. Define what you mean, I'm going to be good. Define. We must know what we're talking about. We must know what we mean, action, tomorrow, citizen, essential, necessity, first step, what? And it worked. Midwifery. Worked. And so we're going to continue it. Uh, this uh, fall, we're back here. We're going to be at the Idri Mateo Haraki in English and in Greek, and in schools and with schools, and, uh, and then all over Greece where they want us, uh, uh, and, 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 and uh, the Far East and Latin America and everywhere else where they've invited us can wait. We'll go there when. when when there is time, we, this, this upstart little joint of ours, Elenico Theatro, Greek Theater International, Greek Theater of New York, a uh, 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 startup spirit, a bunch of 20 to 30 year olds, and some madcap seniors like me. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, uh, no public funding, uh, not even crowdsourcing yet. <laughs> Um, partnerships, 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 as best we can. And, uh, and uh, 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 we are uh, going to, uh, 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 we like to pose questions and suspend them in place and time. Hellenism is a question mark. We stand like Kavafi, as per Forster, 
at a slight angle to the universe. Uh, we ask, what, is, what, 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 what does he mean, knowledge? He says, through virtue, through knowledge, you arrive at virtue. What do these things mean, and how do, how do you do that? Well, we pose, we suggest, we ask, why not? And by emptying first, by emptying our pre from our prejudices, by, by, by ceasing this wonderful habit that we have, that we, we know it all, we, are, we absolutely know who our adversaries are, what the ancients mean, what the moderns are, what, 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 who our allies are, who our adversaries are. We're so absolutely convinced. And the only way that we can attempt to start knowing, we need to go to zero and then start building. Well, we will try to finish since we... Uh, Somebody talked about, a couple of people, about Macriyanis. And uh, if I may, if I may, uh, this, this, this marvelous uh, sister, contemporary, or rather recent sister soul to Socrates. Que dia tuto, os patrida genitieto casenu, Ki ergo ton agonon tu mikrotero, ki adenatu polieti, echi ki aftos te semferondatu, es aftini tem batrida, es aftini en threskea. To lipon, dulepsamen uli mazi, natin filamen uli mazi. Ki namilei o dinatos, iwo, uti dinatos. Είμαστε εις το εμείς, όχι εις το εγώ. Και εις το εξής, να μάθουμε γνώση, αν θέλουμε να φτιάξουμε χωριόν, να ζήσουμε όλοι μαζί. <Συσχελίου>